watching this video, I gather it's because you're getting ready to take principles of microeconomics with me this term. You're probably going to take it either online or as a hybrid course. Online, of course, means you're on your own, uh, although there are a lot of YouTube videos and PowerPoints that I've created that are available for, to you both on YouTube and on ANGEL, the learning management system. And that's really going to be the heart and soul of the course. If you're taking it as a hybrid class, it means you're going to come in and meet with me probably once a week for an hour or two, and then you're still on your own. So you too will also be looking at those videos and those PowerPoints. Do you need a textbook? Yeah, I think you do. I think you need a textbook. We've got one assigned. If you can't get it, get another one. The principles of microeconomics have not changed much in a long time. So you can probably get by with almost any textbook in terms of general knowledge. There are questions assigned from the textbook we're using. They will help you in this course. But heart and soul of this course and what you're going to see on the exams really comes from the materials I've created. The reading in the textbook sometimes will clarify things. But, there are, for example, the first test, there are four appendices, A, B, C, and D. They deal with supply and demand and markets. They deal with um, consumer surplus, the incidence of attacks, and the mathematics of equilibrium. All of that's on the first exam. All of that is shown in examples in the materials I've created for this course. Go back and practice those repeatedly. Now, a little bit of advice. If you are a procrastinator, drop this class. Because if you wait until the last minute to try to get ready for that first exam, you're what I call job security. You'll be back here next term taking the course again because you can't do it that way. All right? You need to get started early. You need to jump into the deep end of the pool and swim around in it. Appendix A is 75 questions on supply and demand. Where you're moving the demand curve, you're moving the supply curve at the same time. Now, all of this is explained on the videos, the PowerPoints, okay? So you've got a lot to absorb and get into that first appendix and work on those questions immediately. You can email everybody in the class. And in fact, where I have two or three classes, I've combined all of you together into one section. So you can email anybody you want. There's a discussion forum where you can post questions that either your classmates will answer or I will answer anytime you get hung up on a question or a problem. I would encourage you to do that. Many of you will, through correspondence with classmates, will create study groups. You may come into campus at the library. You may meet down at Starbucks, whatever. And through face-to-face -face interaction, asking questions, answering questions, I think you can also learn a great deal that way. But the onus is on you. You've got to take action. You've got to do it immediately when the term starts. And you've got to identify for me when you're having some problems. All right? Don't come in to me a day before the exam and start asking a ton of questions. All that tells me is you've been putting it off to the last minute. Don't let that happen. All right? Otherwise, email me about private matters. Post questions on the discussion forum about class matters like questions and homework. And keep me advised on how you're doing. You'll have plenty of practice quizzes to practice with as well. Work on those. Again, and again and again. I've had people tell me they had to watch some of the PowerPoints eight times. And on the eighth time they went, oh God, now I understand it. Do that. Plan to invest a hell of a lot of time in this course, especially in the beginning. And you'll be okay. But if you procrastinate, you put it off, or you work at it and don't understand it and don't do anything about it, see you next term. Okay? Don't let that happen. I'm here to help you. Let me know what I can do. Thanks.